Hey guys, Yasuk Kipros and Merhaba Kibris. My name is James and welcome to another Eurovision reaction video with me. And today, I'm going to react to the secret entry for the Eurovision Song Contest 2020. The name of the artist is Alessandro Lutzen or otherwise known professionally as Sandro Nicolas. The name of his entry is Running, which he co-wrote with Australian singer Alfie Arcuri. Arcuri was a finalist in the 2019 edition of Eurovision Australia Designs, Australia's national, national selection for Eurovision. Sandro is a German-American singer of great descent who took part in his country's version of The Voice. He also represented both Germany and the United States in various music festivals all across Europe, including Slavyansky Bazaar, or no, New Wave. He took part in New Wave on behalf of the United States, and now he was chosen by the secret broadcaster CBC as their representative for, for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Now, because the contest has been cancelled for this year, there is no word yet if Sandro has been selected again to take part for next year's contest. So for now, let's get to uh, reacting his uh, to his entry running. So. What are we waiting for? Let's get to it and start reacting. So it's not Fuego 3.0, that's for sure. It's a pop song. It's a bit of a banger and a bop. I don't know why I kept thinking this is going to be a bop, but I do like ballads. But this is fine. Something you could hear in a club. And there's a drop. I can imagine uh, he'll be utilizing dancers, but he, but he, and they'll be the ones doing the dancing, not him. <laughs> I like the cinematography here. There's a lot of ideas being being thrown at this, so probably. tired of running from the demons so he has to face them time to face her fears but there's, there's no point in running are they the demons in your mind I do like the. There's some uh, 90s influence aesthetic here. There's some. Uh, yes, the 90s, 90s up uh, your your club vibes here. It's going to be interesting, it would have been probably interesting on how this would all look like in the Eurovision stage. Sadly, like it wasn't meant to be. I like this. I do probably like a lot of the entries. This is quite a departure from their past two entries. Uh, Fuego and Freeplay are basically carbon copies of each other. More so on, on the case of Freeplay because uh, just about everyone involved from Fuego were involved in the making of Freeplay. So it was highly derivative from, from, from every sense of the word. But in this case, running is quite different in the sense that it's different from 
from what worked for Cyprus from in 2018, and at least we have to give them props for that. And it also has that kind of a uh, audiovisual aesthetic that that I would I would normally get from 90s music videos. Normally, the the ones that are Euro dance, Euro dance. There are a specific genre of dance music with a with a particular sound that that really shaped that particular decade. I guess I guess that's the influence from Alfie. And at the same time, it's not too sugar coated because I think the lyrics really allows allows the song to have some depth. It tells a story of trying to run away from from whatever demons you have, but. In the end, you ha- you still have to face them because, or else you you're just going to spend the rest of your life running, and we don't want that. Now it would be very interesting to see how Sandro performed this on a live setting. Right now, uh, I'm not really convinced because this is very uh, produced. It it is a very produced track, a very well produced track at that, and. I would love to see a, an, probably an acoustic take, an acoustic cover of this being done by Sandro, just to see how well he really kind of gel with the song. And I think he's pretty happy with how everything of how everything turned out in the making of this track with his collaboration with Alfie. Yeah, and I'm pretty happy for Alfie himself because while I'm sad that he wasn't able to win Australia Decides, he was one of my favorites. At least he was able to pen a Eurovision track. Although, sadly, this it's not going to make it because of the circumstances that we are facing right now. Now, I'm hoping that uh, Alfie and Sandro work together again in future projects and hopefully uh, the separate broadcaster CBC decides to to select Sandra again for 2021. So what? how do I think this would fare in Eurojo Jam? I think fairly well. I think because people are climbing for BAPS and given Cyprus' recent uh, qualification streak since 2015, I could see them uh, really going going forward with this, uh, being able to qualify with this and getting a very decent placement in the final. Although I, w- I don't expect going as far high as Fuego did in reaching uh, second place. But I think this is an ent- a decent entry all in all. So those were my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know down in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more Eurovision related content and many more. Uh, this has been James and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!